Construction sector is one of the most resource-intensive industries. The actions are needed to make the built environment and construction activities more sustainable. The construction industry is one of the largest exploiters of renewable and non-renewable natural resources. The global construction materials market size is expected to grow from 1,1 trillion US dollars to 1,4 million US dollars by 2028. At compound annual growth rate of 4.9% from 2022 to 2028. The construction industry produces an enormous amount of waste. A large volume results from the production, transportation and use of materials. In the European Union, the construction industry contributes about 40 to 50% of waste per year. Apart from waste generation, the building industry rapidly growing world energy use, especially use of finite fossil fuel resources. Building material production consumes energy. The construction phase consumes energy, and operating a completed building consumes energy for heating, lighting, power and ventilation. The existing building stock in European countries accounts for over 40% of final energy consumption in the European Union member states. The residential use represents 63% of total energy consumption in the building sector. The aim of circular construction is to create a sustainable, green, circular and economical construction industry. It is important to optimize material flows in construction that minimizes the impact on the environment. Involving efficient resource management, such as recovery, waste recycling, the use of recycled materials and the reuse of existing buildings and components. Decarbonization goals estimate that the sector should consider the carbon footprint of building materials and reduce its emission levels. The building and construction sectors account for nearly 40% of global energy-related carbon dioxide emissions in constructing and operating buildings, including the impacts of upstream power generation. Various factors determine a building carbon footprint, but most people are only aware of the energy consumption, which they reduce by switching to renewable alternatives. The contributors to a building carbon footprint include the emissions from the transportation of materials to the construction site and their embodied carbon, who accounts for a significant percentage of global greenhouse gas emissions. Steel, concrete and aluminium are the worst offenders here since their emissions are almost equal to the global greenhouse gas emissions from the building sector operations. The first zero-carbon step is to insist on energy efficiency. Occupants consume a lot of energy with their household and office equipment. This rate will only be minimal if there is a switch to renewable energy. There are some strategies contractors can employ to reduce carbon emissions. Refurbish or repurpose existing buildings. Building less. Ensuring that the goal is to meet the community's needs. Reuse materials or switch to low-carbon options. Building efficiently that helps to maximize material use. Ensure that the project emits low waste by recycling materials. Embodied energy is a calculation of all the energy that is used to produce a material or product, including mining, manufacture and transport. To achieve a home that is truly low energy, 
It is important to consider embodied energy when choosing materials and construction systems. Different types of materials and construction systems will have very different levels of embodied energy. It is not just a matter of choosing low embodied energy materials. A house built with low embodied energy materials may require more operational energy to run the home like heating and cooling. The total embodied energy of a building is the total energy needed for production of all the materials used in the initial construction, production of all the materials used in repairs or renovations over the life of the building, transport of materials to site and energy used on site during construction, repairs or renovations. The calculation of embodied energy is often performed within a life cycle assessment, reducing materials with high embodied energy, unless they play a role in reducing operational energy. This may include sourcing local materials to reduce energy for transportation, reuse existing materials, choosing new materials that have a high proportion of recycled content design for a long building life as well as disassembly for ease of reuse and recycling. The embodied energy is an important environmental issue with the full range of environmental effects associated with building construction. The use and end of life should be considered when choosing a building material. Environmental effects include aspects such as water use, land use, raw material depletion, release of pollutants and greenhouse gas emissions and biodiversity.